When a two-year-old girl drowned this week, investigators said heroin use by her parents figured into her death. The father of Victoria Rivas found her in the family pool. Detectives say she may have been underwater as long as 15 minutes. Now the girl's father, Sean Hughes, is facing a charge of second-degree murder and child abuse. Her mother, Heather Rivas, facing a child abuse charge. And now, Nine in Your Side News has obtained court documents that show exactly how much evidence of drug use investigators found. Craig Smith is here with details. Guy, Pima County's chief deputy says investigators were so upset by the death of the child and the drug use they found, the department made counselors available to them. Now court documents tell us more about just what they saw in that house. How could Victoria Rivas be underwater as long as 15 minutes before her father, Sean Hughes, found her? The pool had a good safety enclosure to keep the child out, but the gate was propped open. Chief Deputy Chris Nanos looks at that sort of inattention and poor judgment and links it to drugs, hard drugs. We found heroin. We found evidence of heroin. Uh, we found uh, a number of other drugs there in the house um, that the parents, uh, admittedly so, have a substance abuse problem. Evidence records suggest how deep the problem was, results of the search warrant, show around the house detectives found nine drug syringes and nine spoons, some with residue inside. Heroin addicts heat spoons to cook heroin into a liquid they can inject. Deputies also found almost 60 pills in two bags and another bag of pills they did not count at the scene. Now, Sean Hughes is facing charges of second degree murder and child abuse while Heather Rivas is facing child abuse only because he was supposed to be watching his daughter at the time she went into that pool. Heather Rivas was taking a late afternoon nap. Syringes were found in the bedroom and in her purse. A tragic case all the way around. Craig, thank you.